This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Samsung oven that is having trouble with its controller. It might be that your um, bake isn't working or your broiler isn't working and you've already changed the igniters. So it could be the relays on this control board so to take this out and replace it, it's going to be pretty easy. We just need a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to reach back here and we're going to unplug it or you can turn off the breaker. We're going to remove some Phillips head screws from the back of the oven that are holding on this back upper plate. I think there's only going to be six screws all together. So we just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And once we get them off, we're going to remove this uh, sheet metal plate, get it out of the way. And then there's going to be some modular connectors that we have to remove. And they're really easy. You just pinch in and pull them back. And then we're going to be removing some Phillips head screws that hold the controller to the frame. So we're just getting rid of this panel on the back. We're going to pull it away, get it out of the way. And now we're pulling these modular connectors off. These big blue ones are the ones that go to the relays that go for the broiler and the bake. And sometimes these relays get stuck and they no longer send power down to the igniter. So when you exchange this controller, you should be okay. I would always first try replacing the igniter because that's more commonly the part that fails. But if the igniters are new and there's still no power to the igniters, the most likely cause is this control board which is easy to replace or if you notice that you're no longer getting a display then it's time to replace the controller so now we're removing these phillips head screws that are holding the controller onto the uh, front console and i think there's six of them on the perimeter they're really easy to pull out once you get them out we're going to just take this whole controller out away and we're going to put our new circuit board into this black plastic frame. It's really easy to do. This is only gonna take you about 10 to 15 minutes to do the whole procedure. So these Samsung ovens are pretty cool. They're pretty inexpensive and they have nice bells and whistles. And also the parts are pretty cheap. The bad part is the parts don't seem to last as long as some of the other brands. Oh, I will also notice here in, your, in the lower part of your screen is this ribbon cable that I pulled out from the circuit board. I, do that, I did that by pulling back on the black casing around it slightly, and then I could pull the ribbon cable right out. So I'm just taking out these last screws. I'm going to pull out the old one that's still inside the plastic frame. I'm going to take out the new one. And here is the one available from Amazon. There's the part number in the upper right-hand corner. Down at the bottom, we see some of the models that this works for. So this is a pretty common one that works for a lot of different models. We have a link coming up here in the next screen for you to order it. And also in the description, we'll find a link that you can click on. So we're gonna take out two small Phillips head screws that are holding it onto the plastic frame. There's one in the upper left corner and uh, in the lower right corner. And then there's a couple little tabs we have to press in on, and then we can pull the circuit board free of the frame. In the bottom, there's just little slots that's, that are holding it on. So we pull that free, we grab our new one, we're gonna slide it in with the display part facing away from you, facing toward the plastic frame. We're gonna slide in the bottom, and once you get that into position on the bottom, you're going to just push in at the top and the little clips will lock in. We got it. And we're going to add those two Phillips head screws to mechanically hold it tighter against the plastic frame. And the plastic frame's job is to hold it tightly against the upper console. So we got those in. We're going to bring it back to the upper console, get the wires out of the way. We're going to put our controller into position. We're going to make sure the display goes out into the display window. And then we're going to add those screws, six different screws that hold it 
to the console. Pretty easy to do. So the most common reason for replacing this controller would be you have lost bake or you've lost broil or maybe you've lost them both and you've already checked the igniter it has a brand new igniter and still it's not lighting and you've made sure that the gas is turned on the most likely culprit is these relays aren't sending power to the igniter anymore so the only way to really do this is to replace the control board unless you have the ability to unsolder the relays by the correct relays and solder them in which is a little tough we're going to put this ribbon cable back in. First, we push it in. We're going to pull up on the little, little door in the front of it. We're going to lift up with our index finger and thumb and push in. Just take your time here. This is a little tricky. You don't want to break this thing. It's a little bit fragile. Get it into position, wiggle, push, and then push down on the little door to lock it in. And then give it a little tug. Make sure that it's all the way in as far as it can go. This is how the touchpad will talk to the control, so you got to make sure it's all the way in. We're putting these little modular connectors in, making sure that they're fully seated. And I'm just going to give it another look. The blue one here, these are for sending power to the broiler and to the bake. These are a little bit bigger, a little more robust. We're going to make sure they're fully seated all the way in. Taking a look, make sure all the connections are tight. This is also really similar for the LG oven. LG and Samsung are very similar um, parts and very similar appliances made in South Korea. So we got one more screw here. This one's kind of holding on to a, a wire tie that's keeping the wires bundled. So we're going to put it through that first and then put it in to lock it into position. All right, now we're going to put the plate back in the bottom. And then it has little, um, up in the upper right, upper left hand corner, it has little slots that have to fit into the opening on the console and then we're going to add those screws to hold it in. So we'll give it power and we're going to press the cancel button first and then we're going to set the clock. We're going to press the set button, put in the current time and press start and then we got it. We can give it a test, make sure it's going to bake. So that was great. Here's another link to that part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this fixes your oven for you. And please subscribe when you get a chance so we can send you more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.